Lads, before we get into today's match reaction, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. We've hit a thousand subscribers, lads. The road to 2000 begins here. And if you want to be a part of that road to 2000 and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so if you do enjoy my content. And also make sure you like the video as well to really help and support the channel. And also click the bell as well so you'll never miss one of my latest uploads. So then without wasting too much more time here, let's jump into today's match reaction. So then, down 2-6, Armagh 13 points, match reaction. And after a narrow one-point victory there in Clonus against our old rivals down, and an Ulster semi-final, we have secured our place for the second year in a row in the Ulster final. I mean, we hadn't gotten an Ulster final there in 15 years, and uh, now we've got two in two years, like, which is definitely very, very good to see there. Very happy that in two weeks' time we're going to be headed back down to Clonus. And hopefully this year, this year will be our year to win Ulster. That definitely will be very interesting there but look at lads it was very very tight there i mean i didn't think it would be too tight i thought we'd in the end run away with it however it definitely was not the turnout there down in fairness to them i thought tactically they did set up very well you know they're irritated they frustrated armagh a lot there in that one and you know they got into their heads as well like i think overall tactically connor laverty said it is downside very well in there However, we're down overly good in my opinion. No, but we're Arma overly good in this one. I don't think so. I don't think either side really did play too good in this one. I mean, for Arma, like I think we should definitely be beating down by like, more than one point, one hundred percent. We should be beating them minimum four or five points, in my opinion, regardless of how they do set up tactically. Because I mean, they're a division three side, like, and we we should be in a division as a division one side, like. So the fact that nearly went to extra time there definitely is it definitely isn't too promising there is it like so you know a lot of improvements they did for the Ulster final obviously but it's good we did get out of the jail I still did think we were the better side in the day we were more clinical in the end like I mean Down did get two lucky goals in the end there I mean two shambles at the back line we're gonna get onto them now in a couple of minutes time sure but overall like I still don't think we're the better side however I still didn't think we were good enough in this game I think we need to really up our ante a wee bit if we want to, a lot actually I think we need, definitely need to up our ante a lot coming into the Ulster final if we want to finally lift that anglo Cell Cup after years and years of hurt so a lot of improvements definitely needed over the next two weeks however I do definitely do think we can get them improvements done obviously you know always good to get a victory over our um, over our rivals down like once again beaten down which is good to see there so you know like we're uh, down of course scoring two six like i mean did they deserve to win this game no like they didn't deserve to win this game hit so many easy wides some easy frees they were given they're like 20 yards out and they're putting them wide like so i mean they only scored six points as well they got two lucky goals in my opinion down didn't deserve to win this one arma despite their poor performance and overall still probably were the deserved victors in the end here so let's get on to some players then i'm struggling to pick out like players who actually did make a big impact in this game because if i'm being honest like most players in this game did heavily under perform like I mean it definitely wasn't uh, most and for most players anyway it definitely wasn't as good as it should be playing like so I, I definitely would like to say players like Supi, Turbot, Connolly, Mernon for example and then players like uh, Joe McElroy for example really improve uh, Ben Creeley as well I'd like to see players like that really improve um, if coming to the Ulster final like because I didn't think they were up to scratch here in this one like they definitely didn't play as good as a field they can play uh, there still was some very good players on that side there one player I do want to mention kicks our things off Ryan O'Neill I thought he was amazing in midfield here in this one you know kicks some amazing points in this one overall and he, he was just a powerhouse in midfield like I mean he really did help us going forward there he was really the driving force of our our attacks in this one so in a game where it was very hard to find space to run into an attack and you know I think I think Rain O'Neill definitely did work very well in here in this one I think he scored three points in the end which is very good to see there at least like Rain O'Neill is getting back into good form which is very very promising there well then he definitely could be a very crucial player to have in midfield for the Ulster final like he is definitely going to be a crucial player to have in that game kicked five points against Derry last year hopefully he can maybe replicate that performance or even do better this year in the Ulster final to try help us get over the line that definitely would be good to see there from Ryan O'Neill but look at you know in the end here he really did help us going forward a lot here he's really a strong midfield presence like I mean sure I suppose that it was hard to find gaps in the attack however I did think especially in the opening 20 minutes or so we actually did have some very very good direct football into the forward line I mean down scored I think the first point of the game and within the blink of the eye we had we already 
already had the ball back up in the arm off of forward line. Like we were, there were some very, very fast movements and direct movements up the pitch there. So in around the start especially, there was good att attacking movements there. However, down were very good to clamp them down easily enough and then get regain possession. Like so, I do think there, there definitely is ideas in the arm off side. However, there still was um, a bit of complacency uh, as the game as the game did progress and we weren't really finding too many spaces. So I think Ryan O'Neill in the end was very he was very important there to try have us find spaces there. So Ryan O'Neill, I thought he definitely was one of the key players here in this one. For me, probably the man of the match as well. You know, he definitely I think was the best player in this one. So yeah, happy to see Ryan getting back in good form. Let's hope then he can keep up that good form and putting in an all timer performance against Donny Gall in the Ulster final. Roy Grugan of course they can I still to think he had a good game in this one as well. The crucial point of his game was kick and freeze. Like I mean, you look at Darren Pat Haver and he probably was very inconsistent with his freeze. Like sure he did kick over some, but he also put some very easy ones wide. Like whereas you look at Roy Grugan, like so calm, so composed. You know he was never going to miss time. He scored five points in the end here in this one once again. You know getting them scores over that is crucial there. And Roy Grugan definitely did step up to the, step up to the mark in that department there. So again, Grugan was also a key play, key part to our successes here in close. Aidan Forker as well, I think, had a good game there, you know, um, maybe one or two defenders, maybe three defenders as well, maybe not playing to their 100% best, in my opinion, however, Aidan Forker definitely did still keep them right throughout this game, also looked quite good going forward, scored two points as well, I think both coming in the first half as well, so Aidan Forker, I think, also had a big impact in this game, and let's hope then his leadership qualities and his good, um, his good performances, both in the defence and in the attack, can definitely prove to be a benefit for us, Go into the Ulster final then in two weeks' time. Lane Hughes then, um, sure you can see the two goals, like, however, uh, he was not at fault for either of them goals, like, I mean, actually, he saved both the shots originally, however, in the end, two bad, bad errors, like, I think Paddy Byrne scored an own goal for that first one, I don't know what, I don't know what was going on there, I looked like an absolute sham was at the back, the miscommunication, maybe, but yeah, that was a, it was a freak error there, basically, the second goal then, I don't think we closed down a down player, and at the end, they got, they shouldn't have scored it, like, there was players on the line, and somehow, it managed to get into the back of the net, like, so, again, twice I would maybe say the defence was maybe a bit um, all over the place there didn't really help Blaine Hughes however Blaine Hughes in the end did still have another very good performance here in this one didn't see a cameo from Ethan Rafferty in this one he was number 16 which I don't really like to see like I mean I'd rather see Shane McGill as number 16 and then I'd like to see Ethan Rafferty with a more outfield number because I do think I've said this before i said it again i said this many times before actually I like I think really we need Ethan Rafferty outfield like I don't think we should be having Ethan Rafferty and Blaine Hughes fighting for the goalkeeper position because it's not fair neither one of them to miss out. So I think the the first first uh, thing is to keep Blaine in nets, play Ethan Rafferty outfield because that way you're really making the best use out of two very very good players there. So again here Blaine Hughes once again putting in a good performance here despite conceding two goals and let's hope then for another strong performance in the Ulster final. Let's hope then he can get another clean sheet to try help us win Ulster then finally for the first time in what is it now six years or something big big drought but hopefully we can get over the line in the end i suppose um i suppose a key part of our uh, game here and this one was our subs like i think our subs did come on and make a big impact especially the forwards like oshin o'neill of course he looked quite good here and this one was moving the ball around well took a very good mark as well Aidan Nugent scored a very, very big point. I think it was a very good point as well to um equalise things up and uh, make a 2-6 to 12 points then quite later on. I thought actually that overall Aidan Nugent was very, very good here in this one. Obviously, maybe he wasn't up to scratch last year, however, in the cameos he's made this year, I think Aidan Nugent actually has looked all right. So, you know, let's hope he continues to improve his performance game in game out. And let's hope then in whatever cameo he does make in the Ulster final possibly, that he can also put in another good sub cameo to try and maybe help us push over the line in the end. But Jason Duffy, of course, was the hero of the game. He scored the winning point very late on, and in the end, that did seal us the victory here in a clonus. Like, I mean, uh, that's such a clutch moment there. I mean, the amount of pressure that must have been on Jason Duffy to kick that. And in the end, he he pulled it off. Like, he took the risk, and he reaped the reward. So Jason Duffy is the man to thank uh, for scoring the winning point to send us into the Ulster final there. So I thought overall the subs did make a massive impact here in this one, and there were massive reasons as the way we did defeat down 
obviously I'm just going to touch on this very briefly but I thought the referee as well was quite poor in this one as well I would say quite poor he was quite terrible if I'm being honest like I mean he was very very biased towards down as I said at half time he, uh, Armagh players getting fouled by down players and down players are winning freeze for it like you know down getting very very soft and easy freeze like so I thought overall very very inconsistent referee and especially near the end there where he calls an Armagh free out uh, for a down player going down and in the end he st starts talking to the lines man and he gives a free the other way and down have a big chance there to equalise things up and send the game to extra time that was the same lines man as well who I mean, you know, he's seen that he's seen that down players going hard on the Armagh players I think Kieran Macken actually got a dig in the rivet one season that first half and said nothing to the referee like so very very inconsistent from the officials here in this one but sure what can you do like in the end here I suppose it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things however where's the consistency like we need more consistency in the officiating however in the end here it didn't mean much in the end here it doesn't matter anymore because uh, Armagh still do go through to an Ulster final and of course it's against Donegal they defeated Tyrone after extra time then at Celtic Park in Derry earlier on today and I mean I'm just sick of playing Donegal like this is our fourth time already we've played Donegal this year because we've had them in the Mechanic Cup albeit we did line out our under 20 side against Donegal there of course then we played them in the league at Athletic Grounds then we played them in the league final at Crook Park now we're going to be playing them in the Ulster final in Clonus I'm just sick of the sight of them I'm sick of the sight of them but I definitely I mean out of all the teams I want to beat I would love to beat Donegal I would absolutely love to beat Donegal because all this media hype with Jim McGuinness sure they, I mean he's transformed and a goal and they're looking a completely different side this year as the, what they were last year however the media hype it's annoying man I don't want to hear that phrase Jimmy's winning matches anymore like I want to put an end to it and hopefully Armagh can't put an end to it like that definitely would be very very good to see there and I mean of course 16 years since our last Ulster like it's been practically my first ever Ulster title win for Armagh I will experience so it could be a very well special day for me of course going down to Clonus in two weeks time but then again it could very well be yet another painful trip to another Ulster final two years in a row I'm being honest lads I could definitely definitely see this game going to extra time again possibly even penalties I think it's very likely to go to penalties obviously it was very close to going to extra time in Croke Park for the league final this time I do think it will go to extra time and it will go to penalties but I do believe like I do think this year I do think in our next penalty shootout Armada's face that we will win it like I think we've got a penalty shootout victory in us at one stage but where it does come though I'm not 100% sure hopefully if it does end up going to penalties here uh, that it does come here in this one that definitely would be very good to see us get over our penalty who do however they just have to wait and see like this game definitely very well could be done in 70 could be done in extra time could have to go all the way to penalties it's very unpredictable like obviously you know I predicted Armada to win this one in penalties I'm still going to stick by my prediction I'll actually I'm just, I'm just starting to think like I mean sure I was going to just, I was going to say there, I'm going to stick with my prediction and saying Armagh will win. However, I mean, looking at Donegal, like, they're just looking too good. Like, I mean, in my opinion, they weren't 100% great against Tyrone. However, in extra time, the legs had show, their fitness had shown they were the fitter team against Tyrone. And in the end, they probably they were the deserved victors in the end there um, uh, because of the legs and the fitness that got them over the line there in extra time. Albeit, like, I think in the 70 minutes, Tyrone probably were the more deserved victors in that one. So, but in the end, of course, they didn't get the victory there. So, you know, Donegal, there's still his weaknesses on that side. And I still do believe Armagh can definitely match them up any any time we do play them. It doesn't matter what sort of form we're in. It's always going to be a tight game against Donegal. Like, so, it could go either way, in my opinion. I can definitely very well say Donegal win more likely, unfortunately, than Armagh win. However, we'll not dwell on that. We'll have to remain optimistic. We'll have to remain hopeful that we can get over the line and finally win Ulster again hopefully we do so hopefully you know we bring a good support to it obviously it probably will be a full house in Clonus which will be good to see again so hopefully we can get over the line hopefully we play a good game against Donegal and hopefully not only do we end the Jim McGuinness hype in the media but we also finally end our 16 year trophy drought in Ulster with finally winning the Anglo Cell Cup again on the 12th of May so I will end today's match reaction everybody hope you enjoy it remember to like share subscribe turn on notifications Thank you all for watching the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KDFG very, very soon.